with some of his senior officials and the three leaders of the opposition movement here, including the former boxer Vitaly Klitschko. And they agreed, firstly, there would be a truce, and then there would be negotiations about creating an environment for stability and peace, basically, in Ukraine. Now, I should put a huge caveat to this, Jake. I mean, unless the people behind me haven't heard this on the tannoy, they're being regularly spoken to. We're not seeing peace breaking out. I've seen Molotov cocktails thrown back and forth. The whole square filled with black smoke from tire fires right now. Little green lasers being used to clearly um, get in the eyes of police officers there. So no obvious sign and change in the environment behind me, but this does follow the pattern, really, of a kind of a sine wave of an uptick in violence and then a calming and then perhaps worse to come. Bear in mind too, Jake, we are tomorrow morning expecting three key European foreign ministers from France, Germany and Poland to arrive in Kiev. I'm sure Viktor Yanukovych wants to set a more diplomatic and calm environment and sound more statesmanlike ahead of their arrival, Jake. Nick, uh, put on your analyst's hat for a second for us. These protests have been going on since the end of last year, but obviously uh, they've grown quite deadly in the last couple days. We've seen President Obama uh, talking about them, Secretary of State John Kerry uh, raising the specter of sanctions. You mentioned the three European foreign ministers coming to Ukraine tomorrow. Did, does this international pressure, is that what's bringing uh, Yanukovych to the table and the opposition leaders, uh, or is it more just the feeling that this can't continue the way it is? I think they're under great pressure. I'm sure there are even people in Moscow backing Viktor Yanukovych who don't, in the middle of the Sochi Games, want to see this kind of thing play out, perhaps with their branding attached to it. But yes, just hearing their continued blast behind me, I mean, that it could be fireworks, could be a number of things, but it certainly isn't a truce. Um, I think, yes, sanctions do apply pressure upon all the players. Viktor Yanukovych is thought by analysts to be concerned about any exit strategy for him. I think many opposition uh, people here believe he has in some way blood on his hands after the last 24 hours, certainly, if not the past before that. So perhaps part of any uh, situation for him leaving power, if that were to happen, would be to know he was safe in the future. Sanctions and the idea of international pressure may be applied to him to perhaps soften his position at all. We saw this in 2004, though. The world gets involved. They say they may act. That changes the environment briefly on the ground again, but then the two sides realized they were basically at an impasse and things returned to the tense uh, situation before. So nothing has really changed on the ground behind me, Jake, except for the fact you had this statement that they're willing to talk 